Hey, how's it going? How's everybody doing? Uh, just chilling at home. Uh, it's evening on a Sunday night, and uh, fuck it, why not? Let's do a beer tasting. All right, let's do this. Let's get into this. Get on my these weird old man glasses that I found that are actually pretty decent quality. I mean, they're they're all right, except they're all kind of grody looking. Let me wipe them off. Anyhow, yes, these old man glasses that I found that uh, are actually the perfect strength for uh, what I use for reading glasses. So they're handy right now. And I don't think they're going to fall apart as easily as all the other crap dollar store ones that I have. They're kicking around in various parts of the, uh, the house here. But uh, anyway, this one here is Split Rail Brewing Company. Tracy got me this one from Manitoulin Island in northern Ontario. And uh, it's a small batch craft beer, which I guess translates to there's a, a limit of, limited amount of them being made. Let me drop this down a bit. There. It's a little bit better. I feel a little bit more in the right spot. But uh, Split Rail Brewing Company, Call of the North. Um, it was brewed. I got the date right there. Let's see. Uh, the 11th of uh, July of this year, 2023. And um, it's the artwork on the bottle. And yes, one's, one of the rare times I'm drinking out of a, drinking a bottled beer as opposed to a canned beer. And as I explained in a couple videos, I think that uh, I get canned beer because I'm usually out somewhere when I'm getting and I'm grabbing a bunch of random beers here and there. It's just easier to carry in my knapsack and nine times out of ten, I'm on my bike, so... And I don't usually get them on my way home. I'm usually getting them on my way in the middle of the day and grabbing a few taster beers and then a few that I'm going to have at the beach. But, uh, or sometimes I do the tastings at the beach, as uh, you've probably seen. Anyway, what does this say? Sp uh, spruce, spruce tip beer. I think that's what that says. Spruce tip beer. I'm going to say that's what it says. 7% 7, 7 alcohol, uh, 500 milliliter bottle, so... A proper standard pint as opposed to um, the well I guess everybody's doing the American pints now no, no offense to American people but it is a smaller pint 500 milliliters versus um, whatever whatever they are I mean 20 ounces versus I think 16 ounces so it does make a difference if you're really <laughs> out there drinking but uh, pop this guy open is it a twist off no it's not usually the independent ones aren't but I uh, got my giant bottle opener here had this thing for years I got it from my grandmother actually before she passed away and she passed away 25 years ago so I think I've used it maybe 10 times but why would you use this all the time it's a little bit impractical I just think it looks really cool very big what does it say on it anyway Looked at it many times. Uh, <clears throat> Crothers Limited, something or other. What is a date on it? I don't see one. Anyway. Oh, actually, it's really sweet. What does it say on the side before I continue? Um, I can't really read it without spilling the beer, but it smells really good. It does smell tasty. I know she bought this for a reason. She bought a couple of them. She doesn't really drink, but she um, she will have the odd one from time to time. But it's, oh, it's nice and dark. I think it's this has like a maple taste to it. Sun to it. Now you might be able to read that now. Let's see. No, actually, it doesn't really say too much in that regard. Let's see, see over here. Split. No, oh, it just has the uh, name of the brewery and, and the address. So, anyway, let's give it a try. It does smell good. Got a good color to it. Might, from your end, it might look like a stout, but from here, it's more of a of a dark amber color, almost. Almost looks like, uh, kind of looks like maple syrup in terms of the color, not the consistency. Oh, wow. 
Wow. Wow, that has got to be one of the best beers I've ever had. I'm not going to lie, this is a really good beer. It's so tasty. I would give this a 9. And he's easily a 9. Like, this is so good. If I was out somewhere and... Who's calling me at 12:30 at night? But anyway, um, it is uh, it is really good. And as I said, yeah, if I was somewhere and this was the selection, I'd probably be drinking this for the night. Seven percent. It's not a heavy hitter. It's a little stronger than well, it's most beers are five percent. This is seven percent. So you know, it's about not quite one and a half times the strength, but it is really good. Check this one out. Split Rail Brewing Company. Uh, from Manitoulin Island, Northern Ontario. Mm -hmm. I think it's, yeah, I can still have to be in Ontario. <laughs> but, uh, natural craft beer. I'm just trying to think, see what else it says about, but there, it doesn't really have a lot of, there's no real information on the bottle. But it's good. It is so good. I mean, it's not an IPA, thankfully, because I've had enough of them. But uh, I don't hate them, I just... You know, I'm just kind of bored of them now. After a while, they all start to taste kind of the same. But but yeah, do I recommend this? Absolutely, 100%. Check it out. Check out the, um, check them out online, I guess. Split Rail Brewing Company. I'm trying to say I don't want to spill anything. I'm trying to see the, uh, there's an email address. I'm sure there is, or I'm sure if you just, oh, there's, it's hard to read. It's blending in a bit, but WW Split Rail. I can't really read it. It's kind of blending in with the label, but uh, I'm sure just Google them. Again, Split Rail Brewing Company. Check them out. Check out this beer. You know, um, if somehow you're able to get some somewhere, uh, definitely try this. It's a, it's an easy, easy nine. This is so good. Like, like this is an incredibly tasty beer. I'm just trying to get a good shot for clickbait or something. But anyway... Anyway, um, yeah, if you want to subscribe, that would be outstanding. I would really appreciate that. And um, I'm going to finish this off, enjoy it, and uh, I guess uh, have fun, be safe, and until the next one, bye.